It's a common struggle, isn't it? Many of us find ourselves grappling with the question of what to do on this sphere we call Earth. We're born, we go to school, we major in something, we get a job, we find a partner, we make kids, we travel a few times, and then what? What's our true purpose on this globe? Back in the day, life had a precise script. If you were born a peasant, your days were mapped out with farming the land and caring for your family. If you were a soldier, your duty was to defend your land. Everyone had a role and a clear set of expectations. Simple, maybe not easy, but at least you knew what to do. But let's rewind even further and sprinkle in some wisdom from the philosophers who tried to tackle these big life questions. Take the Stoics, for example. Marcus Aurelius once said, Each of us needs what nature gives us, when nature gives it. This suggests that life isn't about adhering to a strict plan laid out by society. It's more about understanding and fulfilling the roles nature has intended for us, in the moment it's required. The essence here is that, historically, life roles were dictated by societal needs and survival. People identified with their roles more clearly because those roles were often all they knew, and stepping outside those roles wasn't just unconventional, it was unthinkable. Today, we're fortunate to not be bound by such strict societal roles. We have the freedom to ask, what should life really be about for me? And yes, it can be a struggle. With endless possibilities, finding our purpose can feel like a daunting task. But remember, it's a task that's uniquely ours to define, not a predetermined path. Now, let's look at how things have shifted. Yes, we still need soldiers and farmers. Still, it seems like everyone nowadays is nudged towards becoming a lawyer, a doctor, or, for the younger crowd, a TikToker or YouTuber. It's like the spectrum of acceptable careers has not only shifted, but also narrowed in some ways and exploded in others. In this rush, it feels like we've lost the depth in our lives. We're all chasing after what looks flashy or promises the quickest path to wealth and fame. But what about passion? What about a sense of fulfillment? These crucial aspects of choosing a path in life seem often overlooked. Instead of engaging deeply with our choices, we treat life like a checklist. Get the degree. Land the job. Make the money. In this process, we've drifted away from seeing life as the incredible gift that it is. Ancient philosophers often talked about life as a divine blessing, something to be cherished and reflected upon deeply. For instance, Socrates famously said, the unexamined life is not worth living. This idea was about valuing life as a profound journey, not just a series of tasks to complete. Today, our connection with these deeper values is fading. We're so focused on what we're supposed to achieve that we forget to pause and consider why we're doing it in the first place. This disconnect is why many of us feel lost, struggling to find a purpose that resonates on a personal, soulful level. We're equipped with more tools and opportunities than ever before, yet we find ourselves searching for what truly makes life worth living. As we go deeper into the whirlpool of modern life, there's no ignoring the giant flashy elephant in the room, social media. Platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube have reshaped how we interact and see ourselves and our aspirations. It's not just about sharing moments anymore, it's about curating a highlight reel of our lives that can make even the most fantastic movie seem dull in comparison. This constant barrage of perfect moments from influencers and peers has set an unrealistic benchmark for success and happiness. Everyone seems to be on an exotic vacation, landing dream jobs straight out of college, or living a lifestyle that screams luxury. And here you are, scrolling through your feed in your pajamas, wondering why your regular day feels so... regular. The issue here isn't just that we're being shown these highlights. It's that we start believing they're the whole story. We compare our behind-the-scenes mess with struggles, doubts, and microwave dinners to someone else's airbrushed life snapshot. This comparison game is dangerous because it distorts our perception of reality. We start valuing superficial markers of success over genuine happiness and fulfillment. What's worse, this social media mirage can leave us feeling inadequate, thinking we're the only ones not living the dream. In reality, everyone else is likely just as embroiled in the mundane and messy parts of life as we are. 
This disconnect can numb us to our worth and potential, making us feel disconnected from our stories and unsure of our paths. While social media can be a fantastic tool for connection and inspiration, it has also played a pivotal role in muddying the waters of self-perception and purpose. It's vital to remember that life isn't meant to be a competition of highlights, but a personal journey of highs, lows, and everything in between. So, how do we cut through the noise and find our true purpose amid all this social media chaos and life's expectations? It's about getting back to basics and reconnecting with what really matters. Amidst the chaos of social media and societal expectations, the path to finding our true purpose lies in reconnecting with ourselves. The Stoics understood this well. They advocated for focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we can't. Marcus Aurelius in his meditations wisely advised, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This means finding satisfaction in our actions and choices rather than seeking external validation. Then there's the timeless wisdom in religious texts like the Bible, which offers insights into leading a purposeful life. Proverbs 19.21 says, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but the Lord's purpose prevails. This suggests a shift from trying to control every aspect of our lives to understanding the bigger picture and aligning with greater values. How can we apply these ancient wisdoms today? Start by taking some time each day to disconnect from digital distractions and reflect. Whether journaling, meditation, or prayer, find a quiet moment to ask yourself the big questions. What am I passionate about? What brings me joy? What am I good at? What does the world need from me? Next, try to implement what author Stephen Covey famously recommended in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Begin with the end in mind. This means setting clear personal goals based on your values and what you want to be remembered for rather than what gets the most likes or shares. Remember, finding your purpose isn't a one-time event. It's a journey. It requires patience, introspection, and sometimes the courage to go against the grain. By silencing the crowd and focusing on what truly resonates with your core, you'll see the path ahead more clearly. This isn't about rejecting the modern world but navigating it with wisdom and authenticity. If you're feeling lost, sometimes the best thing you can do is take a step back and spend some time alone. It's not about isolation. It's about giving yourself the space to listen to your thoughts, away from the noise of everyday life. Philosophers across the ages, from Stoics like Marcus Aurelius to warriors like Miyamoto Musashi, have emphasized the importance of self-reflection. In his personal writings, Marcus Aurelius repeatedly addressed the value of knowing oneself, remarking, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. This was a reminder to focus on the essentials and understand the transient nature of life. Musashi similarly wrote about the need to know the way broadly. He meant that to master anything, you first need to understand it deeply, including understanding yourself. He believed that self-awareness was crucial in the path to mastery and purpose. So how does this advice help us understand life better? By spending time with ourselves, we can strip away what we've been told to want or to be and instead discover what moves us. This solitude allows us to hear our thoughts without interference and understand our genuine passions, fears, and dreams. Start with simple steps. Dedicate a few minutes each day to sitting quietly without distractions. Reflect on your day, your feelings, and your goals. Ask yourself if you're on the path you want to be. If not, consider what might need to change. Over time, this practice can lead to profound insights and more straightforward decision-making. Remember, understanding life starts with understanding yourself. And sometimes that understanding can only come when you pause and give yourself the space to explore your inner landscape. It's not about finding quick answers, but being okay with the questions until the answers come. Life isn't always a smooth ride, and sometimes, believe it or not, we're the ones making it more challenging than it needs to be. It's easy to blame life for being unfair or not making sense, but we often haven't looked in the mirror first. It's about understanding who you are and aligning your expectations with reality. For instance, if you're 5'6 and dreaming of an NBA career, 
You've got to be realistic about what's within your reach and what isn't. Or if your reflexes aren't lightning fast, maybe aiming to be a professional esports player isn't your best bet. It's not about giving up on dreams, but adapting them to fit who you are and what you can realistically achieve. This ties back to what we discussed about knowing yourself. Before you blame life for your hardships, look hard at your aspirations, abilities, and approach. Are they in sync? As the famous philosopher Socrates once said, know thyself. Understanding your nature, strengths, and limitations is the first step towards a fulfilling life that feels more within your control. If you want to know where I stand, I put God first. That's my purpose. And everything flows from that. It's that simple for me. For you, finding that purpose might be a bit more complicated and you might need more time to figure it all out. And that's perfectly okay. Everyone's journey is different and each path to understanding life and oneself is unique. Our chat today has given you some food for thought and helped you understand more about yourself and how you can align your life with your true potential. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you want to support us further, consider becoming a member for some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers, and remember, sometimes, the best way to make life easier is simply by understanding yourself better.